Edith, you disappeared from Kenyan TV. Where did you go? First of all, I'm wondering what I'm doing on this panel. Why these are you guys here? are doing such amazing things. People are breaking world records, <laughs> making personal projects, running, running for, for office. office. <laughs> I'm like, I just woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the international stage. You're international TV, oh, child. Don't, don't underrate sunshine. yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I left KTN and I joined Deutsche Welle first mm -hmm. as the East African correspondent. And then shortly after that, I was offered a position to be a news anchor in Berlin. Now, as you can imagine, having worked in a different country before, mm -hmm. It's very overwhelming, um, and it took me a year to make that decision, to make that choice, and eventually I did move. And I have to tell you, Larry, it was one of the most difficult months of my life uh, because it's everything. It's an avalanche. Mm -hmm. it, I went when it was freezing. You know, Berlin is. I was looking at your, sna your snaps yeah. on Instagram. <laughs> and you're like a, an African child in Europe in the <laughs> middle of winter. Yeah, <laughs> there's also the second issue of, you know, ich spreche kein Deutsch. Uh, I didn't speak uh. German at the time, still don't speak German. English nicht. <laughs> <laughs> English nicht. Yeah, um, and just being surrounded by a culture that's completely different from yours. And I was very comfortable at KT and I'm moving someplace where I was just plunged into, I like to think about it as a small fish plunged into an ocean. Mm -hmm. But I really don't have a choice. I have to swim my way through these waves and see what happens at the end of the As someone who has wave. watched you up close, I think you're doing fine. You're underrating, um, Janet will agree, how well you're doing <laughs> and how well you're acclimatizing and holding your own in this huge international stage. And I'm just really proud. Thank you, Larry. Of and I have done. to say that, you know, Larry is not joking when he says that he's taught me everything I know. We used not to sit, true. I don't know if you can remember Janet in the KTN newsroom, but I in and the and yeah, yeah, the <laughs> Oh my gosh, with my hair. He, he really bad. was. Come yeah. on. And yes. he somehow pulled me into his clique. He was really not the cool guys. I don't know how I ended up. I, we were the cool kids, child. <laughs> no. yeah. And he was teaching me how to write and he was trying to come up with this new concept mm. and everyone was shutting him down. But he's like, you know what? Just keep pushing, keep pushing. Mm. And we were having this conversation at the World Economic Forum, weren't mm -hmm. we? Look yes, we us. were. Absolutely. Moderating global, Moderating global <laughs> events, the World Economic Forum and stuff. And I'm like, why am I here? I'm just yeah. happy to be here. Yeah. If you don't give me anything, I'm fine. Yeah, detail. So, honestly, from that little corner, the KTN newsroom, to what you're doing now. To what we are guys, all doing. What we're all yeah. doing. Yeah. We used to work together at KTN as well. Yeah, back that's in the what day. I'm saying. I remember Janet you. Janet was the a person. snub. Janet was such a snub, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Janet was such a so snub. <laughs> We used she to work like, with him at the Standard Group as well. Yes, I remember, yeah. He was like a Mr. Hotshot photographer, yeah. won 73 awards. Paparazzi. Paparazzi. Yeah. No, that, that's before they were employed. <laughs> <laughs>